everyone, I'm He Chun Yan, and welcome to AI Tour with Mightspool. This series explores the newest trends in the computer vision field while focusing on diffusion models. I hope you will find these talks both interesting and useful. This series will consist of several episodes, and in today's talk, I will give a quick rundown of the recent developments that have been key to today's multimodal generative models. Today's AI is defined by new intelligent applications. One example includes ChatGPT, the smart assistant platform that went viral a couple of months ago, and diffusion models like Midjourney and Stable Diffusion, which can produce images from word input. Multimodal models have gone a long way. Before diffusion models, the Generative Adversarial Network, or GAN, was widely used for image generation. But the GAN is unstable. During training, it requires multiple feedback loops until the model converges. Therefore, diffusion models were developed to better support multimodal generative training. In 2021, OpenAI developed DALI, a transformer-based autoregressive model. DALI marks the first zero-sample foundation model for text-to-image generative tasks. That is, the first time images were created from text without samples. Later in 2021, a new model emerged called Ablated Diffusion Model, or ADM. ADM applies a UNET and classifier guidance to further improve generative capabilities, proving that the generation capability of a diffusion model may be stronger than that of a GAN. OpenAI then released Glide, based on the ADM, in December 2021. Glide is a text-to-image generative foundation model that applies the classifier-free guidance to boost image reality and image-text pair matching. Then, in April 2022, Delhi 2 was launched. As a combination of Glide and Clip, Delhi 2 achieves higher sample diversity than its first generation. Later in June, to deliver equivalent performance but with fewer parameters, the Latent Diffusion Model, or LDM, was released. This popular option further simplifies the training process as it applies VQVAE to compress the image size. Achieving similar effects as Glide with fewer parameters, the diffusion model is widely applied these days and is also the base structure of Wukong Hua Hua. That's all for our quick roundup of recent developments. Remember to join me on episode 2, where we will discuss the shift from the GAN to the diffusion model. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.